Even if you work, even if you do what, if your sin is covered, the Bible says you are out of the prosperity bracket. If you cover your sin, you will not prosper. But whoever confesses and forsakes them will have mercy from God. If you are there, shout hallelujah. Are you following me? So the challenge we have today and I want you to look at me. I don't want you to fidget with anything. Some of you, I know you are on your phones. But you need to focus on me. Focus on my nose. At least it's a big one you won't miss. It. The point is, we need to face the need for a spiritual shower. Did I hear an amen in this? And the Lord was moving that we need this day to flash a light on our life and repent. Repent. So he says, if you return, I will bring you back. So repentance begins with us. But then, the onus is on me to repent the sins of this church. Omega, we sin. Omega, we sin. And when you sin, I'm responsible. And this morning, as your pastor, I must lead you in repentance. I must. I must not fool you that we shall pray and God will do miracles when we have not done the first things. 2024 cannot be a year of blessing when we have not received the cleansing stream of Calvary going through our life. So I come before you this morning as your leader bearing the responsibility of this house of this congregation of this address and this time I'm asking God to forgive us because we come into this place to serve him and instead of serving him we sin I come as your leader saying it doesn't make me happy when we fall short very short in the presence of God we are sorry we have not preached the full counsel we have sinned 
have sinned. I have not corrected those I need to correct. I have left evil to be part of us. I have ignored the things I should attend to. I have sinned. I've not prayed enough. I've not worshipped you enough. I've not given enough. I've taken things for granted. Forgive me. Forgive my pastors. When they have fainted. When they have lost hope. When they have doubted you. Forgive them. Forgive them. 